So I posted this coil on my fan page and people were like, oh, how do, you, how do you do that? You gotta do a post, a video. Well, today's video is gonna be on how to build that coil. And that coil is called the Inception Coil. I did not even come up with this concept. A guy sent me a Facebook message a while back. I say about a month ago. I tried to find that message and could not find it. Unfortunately, I cannot give credit to anybody. It wasn't me. I didn't come up with the idea or the concept, but the guy that Facebooked me did. If you're watching this and you're the guy that messaged me, please comment below. That way I could give you credit in the description of this video. Again, I apologize for that, brother. What the Inception Coil is, is a nano coil inside of a macro coil, and it's all one coil, okay? It's not two coils, one inside the other. It's one piece of wire. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make it. You ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is cut a foot of this 24 gauge canthal. And we're going to do six wraps around this 20 gauge syringe needle. You want to make sure that this lead right here is at least five to six inches in length. Six wraps as close together as possible. The first one does not have to be, and I'll show you why in a sec. Oh yeah, six wraps right there. And now what we're gonna wanna do is just unravel this wrap right here, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and press this in, get them nice and tight. And that is going to be our inner coil for the inception coil. Okay, so the next step, this five to six inch lead right here, We're gonna to wanna to make sure it's close together as possible. I'm gonna wrap over tightly, just like that, and pull it over and out. Okay, so that lead is going to go out. So the next thing we're gonna need is this little piece of tube. Now, I purchased this at a hobby shop. As you can see, I cut the end, and I had to open it back up. This tube right here comes in lengths of three feet, and it is one eighth inch in width. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this tube for our outer coil. So here's the lead, the five to six inch lead that we've pulled to the side, just like that. And all we're gonna do is we're going to insert this lead into this tube right here until it comes out the other end. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, just like that. 20 gauge syringe needle goes into that tube as well. So does the coil. And all we're going to do is we're going to push this coil into this tube. Just like that. Okay? Now the next step, we're just going to fold this end that's coming out of this tube up like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tape this lead to this piece of tube right here. As you can see, I cut the end and I had to open it back up. Okay, just using some scotch tape. And the reason why you want to tape this lead coming out and over onto this tube is because you don't want this coil twisting when we wrap our second coil. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to take this lead right here and we're gonna do a wrap, and we're gonna do five wraps. And you wanna make sure that each wrap is as close together as possible. Okay, so that is what we got so far. Oh yeah. Straighten up these coils a little bit. Straighten out this lead. And then what we're gonna wanna do is pull the two coils out from this cylinder tube. Just like that. So you've got a coil within a coil. Now we gotta do a lot of work to straighten this out as you can see. And you've got one lead coming out on this side and the other lead coming out on this side. 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the inner coil into this outer coil okay just like that and then what we're going to want to do is pull this lead underneath here to get it going in the right direction and then the next step we're going to want to do is straighten this coil out. You want to make sure that the inner coil is right in the center. It's like a bullseye. You want that inner coil being right in the center. I'm going to go ahead and cut these leads. Make sure one is longer than the other. And then all we're going to do is just straighten her out. And that's the beauty of Canthal, guys. You can really uh, mold this stuff the way you want it, especially when you apply heat. I'll even get my uh, stainless steel tweezers in there, and what I'll do is I'll pinch the inner coil together just like that. I want that lead to come in more, clean it up a little more. But yeah, right there, that's looking more like an inception coil every minute that we mold this thing together and clean her up. Oh yeah! Now we're going to go ahead and install it into our RDA, clean her up even more, and get her nice and tidy. Alrighty, so I've gotten the Zenith version 2 on this DB Mods the Mini version 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the 20 gauge syringe needle back into the inner coil. And you see how the two leads are coming out on the left side of these coils? What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to flip it. Okay, okay, the right lead goes into the furthest negative post, and then the left lead goes into the positive post. Okay, just like that. Now, as you can see, we've got her in there pretty much perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down those connections. See how she's tilted at an angle a little bit? That's exactly what you want, and that's exactly what you're going to get with the way these leads are. Pull the syringe needle out. You want to make sure she's glowing from the inside out. You gotta make sure that that inner coil is not touching any part of the outer coil. This inception coil with the 24 gauge canthal is reading at 0.8 ohms. First things first, this piece of cotton is going uh, inside that nano coil. Use these uh, tweezers to pull her through all the way. Right. This excess piece of cotton is going to wrap around the outside of the macro coil. And then what we're going to want to do is use e-juice, saturate it. Make sure the wick is completely covering the outer coil on both sides. And all we're going to do from there is put a cotton cloud in between the inception coil and this post. And it's not all about how you do your coil, it's about how you do your wick too. See how there's a gap up here? We're going to cover that up with a one more piece of cotton. You can also do it to where you can insert the organic cotton this direction and then wrap this end around the macro leaving one piece sticking out, okay, for more airflow. Oh yeah, see how she's shooting out? 
that's what we want. So another crucial part of this is the direction your air hole is facing your inception coil. If you place your top cap over the coil to where the air hole is facing the front of this coil, you're not gonna get any airflow. It's gonna block everything off. The best way to do it is have it to where the air hole is at that corner. You want that air hole facing right there, okay? So kind of the corner of where the cotton starts and where you can see the inner nano coil. Place my top cap just like that. Son of a biscuit! My freaking DB Mods the Mini version 2 died on me. I didn't even notice the battery was going low. Son of a bitch! What I did was I popped the uh, Zenith version 2 on this GI2. The build I have in here is a 0 0.7, 0 0.8 ohm build as you guys saw in the close-ups. I'm running her at 30 watts on this GI2. Flavor is exceptional. You know, at 30 watts, it's taken a while to ramp up. But the flavor is exceptional. It's a nice, crisp flavor. The density is not quite there. Not compared to other cool builds that I showed you guys how to do on previous videos. Now, if you bump it up on the wattage with this build, this 0 0.7, 0 0.8 ohm build. All right, I'm going to bump her up to 40 watts. Oh, yeah, she starts to uh, really uh, ramp up a lot sooner. You know, at 0.7, 0.8 ohms, compared to a micro coil at 0.7, 0.8 ohms, this inception coil takes a lot longer to ramp up. And because of that, you can take longer hits. For the vapor who likes to take really long hits, it's more of a relaxing type vape. This coil may be for you. I'm going to take her to 50 watts. See, even at 50 watts, I can still take longer hits. I mean, that was a freaking six second hit. The vapor, obviously, it's warmer. It's going to be more dense the higher wattage you go. But you know what? You can wrap a lower ohm inception coil. Just use that method I just showed you in this video and do less wraps, and you can get like a 0.5 ohm or even a 0.3 or a 0.4 ohm. You're going to have less ramp up time. Or you can even use 22 gauge and use a larger piece to insert your nano coil. I know they have at hobby shops, they have different size pieces. This is a 1 8 inch. They have even larger sizes than this. Okay, and with the 22 gauge, you can do a lower ohm. Run it on your mech mod at a higher wattage. Remember, when you're building these low ohm builds, if you guys decide to do an inception coil with 22 gauge or something like that, or less wraps with 24 gauge, and you're going super sub ohm, make sure you're using the right battery. The VTC4s, I know the VTC5s just came out. Vape safe, guys. But with this build, I like the long hits. I like taking long hits. It's a much more relaxing vape. But that's not why I showed you guys how to do this build. The vape quality is fantastic. Probably the best quality of this build is the flavor, okay? And, and again, it's all about how you wick it. You gotta wick it just right in order to get that flavor. But that's not why I showed you guys this. I showed you guys this because, hey, I know all you guys watching in vape shops. You guys doing these crazy builds, man. And this build really stood out to me. When that guy sent me that message, I was like, holy shit! That is uh, sick as tits. You walk into the vape shop and you're looking over at your buddies. You're popping your hoods off your RDAs and you're like, look at this build. And they're like, oh, what is that? It's the Inception Coil. So you're doing it for bragging rights. It's something to show off to your buds. And at the same time, you get a, uh, a damn good vape. So that is how to build the Inception Coil. Let's see if you can do it. Can you do it? This is Rip Trippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is now.